So today we're going to make this watch. It's a flexagon. It's a delightful model by Yama Yamachi. It's made with 12 pieces of identical paper. If you're starting the first time, make sure you have relatively hard paper. Print paper would do. But your first start should probably be with paper, which is about 6 inches or more. Uh, making this size would be a bit of a challenge. There we go. This flexagon called fireworks is made with 12 pieces of paper. We start by a piece of paper which is about three and a half inches. Uh, we, each, uh, each piece like in all modular origami is identical and this is how you start folding. To begin with make the two diagonals of the square by folding two opposite corners together like this. Like in the water bomb base turn the paper over and make the plus. From here, make what is called the cupboard fold, which means two opposite uh, edges come and meet the central line like this. That's half the cupboard folded and that's the second half folded as well. Open the cupboard and now fold the same edges to the, e to the crease that you've just made. So you're now folding about, is that one eighth or one sixteenth? Once you've like made this. the creases like this, hold it like this and try and collapse it into the water bomb base this way. When you flatten this 3D model into a 2D model like this, please make sure that the edges, the creases that you made come on this side and they are not parallel to the base of this mountain over here. So I repeat, your creases have to be on two edges like this. If you find that your creases look like this, all you need to do is turn it over. This is how your model should look. Now, again, if you look at this like a mountain, the peak of the mountain will meet the base of the mountain like this. Crease it hard over here. Lift this, lift this base of the mountain, but only the first layer. Bring it to the peak over here like this and then try and flatten it while aligning it next to the slope of the mountain. So I'm going to say this again, take the base, lift it, make it join the peak of the mountain and align it with the slope of the mountain like this and flatten it. You'll be making two new creases, one here and the other on this side. Do this for all four sides, second side, turn it over, lift it and crease it like this and crease it like this. So your model will now look a bit like a, a heart. So to make it even more rounded on the top, lift the first layer over here only till the first crease that you've made and try squashing it down. Now how would you align it? This crease over here should align with the edge over here like this. Try, try doing that with all four sides and your finished model should look a little like this, this way and this way. That looks a little more like a heart. This is the lock that, that we need for later. So now open the lock back into this position where you have the two panels walking like this. And now we'll proceed into trying to figure out how to fix all of these modules together. Once all 12 of your modules are ready, the fixing is fairly tricky. Take two of these modules together and focus on what I'm trying to draw your attention to. Each model has a pocket over here and a flap over here. This is one flap and the other. This, the second module which is on the right over here will go into the first like a pocket on this side and on this side. So eventually all you'll see are three panels of the module, one intersecting in the other. So similarly, just as you fix these two, you have to fix the rest of them so that it becomes a, a whole panel like this, where you have a sequential fixing of all the 12 panels together. Now to lock these, all of these together, all you need to do is take this, okay? 
take this like this and the last step of making the module needs to be simultaneously folded on both sides this way. So you take this, you turn it this way. If you use thicker paper, it will be easy, easier to twist the flexagon but more difficult to turn the, to fold the flexagon and so on and so forth. So we start by getting the yellow piece into the red piece like this just as you did with the others but this time as you put it it will become into a bit of a circle. You will have to tax yourselves and your fingers a little bit in stretching the circle to bring these two panels down and make the final lock like this on one side and this on the other like this. Similarly turn it over and you need to get the yellow panel into the red panel like this and you need to lock it this way. And that's pretty much the end of your flexagon. Now how does your flexagon move? If you hold any side like this, that's your first position, turn it over with a little bit of effort till it snaps like this and then it goes on and on and on like this.